But hi, how are, you, uh, how are you doing? And welcome to the stream. You came immediately. <laughs> but yes, the stars have aligned. I'm able to stream tonight. And I'm so into this. Oh, yep, Pepsi. Let me shut it for a second. Okay. He's got a cape and everything. Huh? Where am I? What do you think of my awesome powers? This is what you obtained in exchange for your memories, Master. Okay. Uh, just updated my first new YouTube video in a while. Oh, nice. This is. Effie, welcome back and welcome to the stream. I hope you guys can hear everything, okay? Oh, it's about to get real good. Oh no, <laughs> I wonder what she's about to put us through. But yeah, uh, we went through a lot during the last stream. <laughs> just everything went down, and it just seemed to go more downhill from there. Uh, hopefully, uh, our newest uh, waifu right here is going to make it all better. Hopefully, hopefully. But knowing her, she's gonna make it worse in a very sadistic way. But how are you guys doing? You did this, Shimigami? Done. I know Is I haven't heard from you in a while. I made a pact with you. I don't understand any of this. Where are we? Hmm. Simply put, it's an alternate universe. It's got that kind of vibe, right? Alternate universe. Hey, you don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome! You probably think it's cliched, huh? Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. Check this out! Ta-da! This is the Mystery Labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. Wait, what do you mean? Materials is missing from the real world. What? Materializes mysteries? Yes, please explain. Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, they actually take shape as a mystery labyrinth. Remember that if you ever need help, I can both make hints or remind you of things mechanic wise, but I'll never ever I'll give you the answer. Please don't give me the answer. Uh. I know a lot of you guys like to watch me struggle and see that I'm, I was never meant to be an attorney or a detective or anything that causes real deduction logic, <laughs> but <laughs> I'll try my best. I press the adorable option. She says it's gonna do the difficulty. I beg to differ. Other than that, good luck on your first try. I'm, uh, uh, this is it. You're already telling me already. This is gonna be hard. Yeah, it would take away the fun. Now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. So, am I able to solve the mystery in this labyrinth? This maze is the mystery? I have the power to interact with this mystery labyrinth. You know what I should have did when I went online? Uh, um, <laughs> went offline last night. I should have wrote down every theory I had <laughs> and put them on a board or something <laughs> just just to keep track of everything that was running through my head. <laughs> Is that a question to me or a re Well, what question? What question did I say? Which question? <laughs> Remind me which question I said. <laughs> That's why we were able to come here in the first place. Anyway. I thought you were really just going to teleport me to another, like, place. Not another dimension. 
Master. We're gonna beat the Amaterasu Express Massacre Mystery Labyrinth. Will I be able to answer the mystery inside? This? Okay, no, no, no. That is that is a, a a thought for me. That is an outward thought to myself. That that is not a request from chat <laughs> to to give me a hint of any kind. Trust me, you will know if I'm asking for help. What happens when we beat it? In every case, there's a hidden truth. And we have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. I'm definitely gonna write down every theory when this stream is over. So, if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. Oh, so all my theories will be... confirmed or denied anyway after this labyrinth. Alright. Never mind then. Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. We'll discover the killer's identity too? You couldn't solve it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. They're two sides of the same coin. I wish I could raise my hand, but <laughs> this question, Shimigabi, um, how are we gonna get proof that they are the killer in reality? How do we get them to be, you know, arrested and taken to court and all that jazz? Like, how, how is that gonna work? But whether or not you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. Oh no. <laughs> the <mystery is> <laughs> you laughed evilly in chat? No. Too. No, that is just, that's just a bad side for me. <laughs> Killers in real-world cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? Those are also materialized into the maze, so this is gonna be a tough battle. So, you're saying there are traps in there? Oh yeah, other thing. So I just changed, like, my, um, the badges to, uh... Uh, well, I guess they're the sub-badges, I guess. But, um... Ironically, I didn't realize it. <laughs> Ironically, they're ghosts. <laughs> they're the shape of ghosts. And I was just like, well, how ironic <laughs> that the mascot is a uh, ghost turned Sailor Moon waifu. <laughs> uh... Yep, looks like you're finally getting it. Now that I've explained it all, let's head into the dungeon. Hold on. I, I don't understand any of this. Seriously, you don't get it? it uh, the, you don't have to get it. Just follow her lead. We'll j just go. Uh, a mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery. This one is formed from the murder on the Amaterasu Express. Yep, you're right so far. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth... If we keep going, the Amaterasu Express case will be solved? Thank you for reinstating what she just said. Yup, you totally get it! What? I don't get anything! This makes no logical sense! In her defense, you're in another dimension. I'm pretty sure a ton of things don't men make sense here. Sheesh! This is why you're a bench warmer detective. Oh. We're in an alternate universe and hung up on details. Dang. She she went for your throat there. Of course I am. Okay. Uh, I'll explain more about how it works as we explore the mystery labyrinth. If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. What? <laughs> I mean, I think he's going to be staring at booth for other reasons, and you're going to be expecting a question, okay? <laughs> That'll make all your worries disappear. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it won't! Please, explain everything now! Relax, relax! I'll tell you in due time. Come on, let's go! Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth! Sorry, I forgot to mention the important keys. Oh, let's see. Oh my god. This girl. 
watch we're gonna go in there and then we're gonna be like a trap door and she's like oh yeah i forgot to mention that but like no really keys you mean for opening doors in the dungeon yeah something like that but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries they're called solution keys and they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth so where do i find them Another question, since it doesn't teleport me to another place, wouldn't I just reappear right about to get ambushed? Is he like gonna like solve this and be like, I have my evidence here. And, he's, and the big, I don't know, I forgot his name again, Mr. Swank. <laughs> he's, a, he's, uh, he's gonna be like, well, you actually have something to refuse your, uh, to defend your honor with? Is that what's gonna happen? I'm just guessing. Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. You kinda had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. For starters, try to recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. The Amaterasu Express? Uh... The Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Ward. Oh yeah, so I also forgot to mention before we got started. I have fixed the issue with the... Um, what is it? The the alerts. So they should... You guys should hear them now. If, if it doesn't work now, I'm gonna throw my hands up in the air because I'm gonna be lost just as you guys. But it should be working now and you should be able to hear it from your end. It's an automated, unmanned train with five cars. Its doors won't open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. The world? Huh? Here's your solution key. Your vomit is the solution key? You, you couldn't just hand me a key normally. You had to throw up. <laughs> map of the train. I knew these the, that map was gonna, was gonna come in later. Because of how many times we had to look at it, I was just like, yeah. According to the log, the train did not stop once after departure. So this is a solution key. But why did it come out of your mouth? Mm, what do you mean? So I don't have to use my hands. I worked really hard developing this method. What? You put thought into this? So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Let's keep reviewing what happened in this case. All right, I'll do my best. Uh, the incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving. Including myself, there were six master detectives on board. Apex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. Alive. That were alive. Nah, yeah, it didn't say anything about the dead people. If there are any dead people. Apex and Poochie's fortes proved there were no other people besides the six people inside the train car. And who died first again? It was Zilch, and the first car's infirmary. No, I don't believe that either. I think the order of deaths is reversed. I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door, and looking through the window, I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. The infirmary was on fire, so smoke quickly filled the whole area. I hurried to open the door, but it 
wouldn't budge because it was locked. Does that mean this was a locked room mystery? Mm, more like a locked train mystery. I mean, you checked every car and cabin. You didn't find any six body, did you? True. But I still feel like someone was switched. I, I think the order of deaths is wrong. I think AKA uh, Aphex was the first death and it just kind of went backwards from there. But I don't, I don't believe, I still believe one of, uh, one of them was the imposter and was like, you know, oh stop, I'm going to discover it eventually. Plan B, kill everybody. But I'm just trying to figure out how they were switched. If we checked every room, where could they have hidden? I don't know. <laughs> I'm really Not back in my really. brain right now. <laughs> There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. Mm, that's no fun. Anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. By then, Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. Yes, for right now, that's still the suspect list. And, uh... Aphex kind of became a little bit more suspicious because of how we found his body. But when I looked back on my stream, <laughs> I kind of had second thoughts. So right now, that is the suspect list that is in rank right now until proven otherwise. I need, I need, more, I need more information. <laughs> it was his body discovered in car one. It was burnt to a crisp. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved to the second car. But I found Melamy's corpse there. I think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining car. Ooh, a flambe! A human flambe! And this corpse discovered in car two. It was burnt to a crisp, but the face is still barely recognizable. That reminds me, something was off about car two. Right before the train entered the tunnel, there was a strange shaking. Yeah, there was. Isn't that from entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure, uh, wind stuff. And there was a blackout right after, although it only lasted a moment. And I think that's when the backup generator like turned on was because of that um that small moment of loss in like power but why did it happen i'm kind of still trying to figure that out yeah what was up with that blackout was there one on the other side of the tunnel too no when we exited the tunnel there was shaking again but no blackout there was something else too Something that happens when we were in the fourth car. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. There was a blackout and a shaking when the car entered the tunnel. There was another shaking when the train exited the tunnel. And the next corpse was the little girl in the third car? Yeah, it was Poochie. Another burnt body. Just like the first two cars. Poochie's curse discovered in car three. It was burnt to a crisp, but the face is just barely recognizable. I missed the pink blood. Uh, wasn't there a secret face thing in the third car? I'll I'll settle for the pink fire in the background though. You mean the backup control system? I remember something about that. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. 
Anything else you can remember? I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. And if the backup was on, that means the main system was down, right? What do you think about that? stopped, so it doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? Yeah, that's true. Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fourth car, right? He was also covered in burns. Was there anything strange about that corpse? I think the only thing strange is like that little splotch, like right there on his chest, because Melanie had a similar one on her back. He didn't have any external wounds, but he was holding the cell phone he uses for his photography ability. Oh yeah, that useless ability. <laughs> it's basically no better than a dash cam. Yeah, this is, it's pretty useless. Unless you like witness a crime happening, that, that ability is kind of useless. Anyway, forget about the geezer for now. Don't want that old man smell haunting my memories. Zang's corpse discovered in car four. The entire body has been burnt to a crisp. Next and last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember it. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell who it was. But the necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. I mean, if all it takes is one piece of jewelry to confirm who it is, you could have put any person's jewelry around their neck and said, oh, it's da da da. We also discovered a stab wound to the chest. The burnt corpse thought to belong to Aphex has appeared to be a stab wound in the chest. Also, judging by things like the plate on the wall, the fifth car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars. Maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out. I mean, that's a lot of scorch marks. I mean, a lot. And how long could you, could you be running around like that on fire? I would say maybe at max a minute, maybe even two, max. Not enough time to do that much damage. The plate identifying car farm was burned and sorted in an unusual manner. Oh, and the blood on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. The infirmary in car 5 was locked from the inside. There was a small amount of blood splattered on the interior lock. Uh-huh. So, I guess that does it for our review of the case? Wait, there was something else. After the train arrived at the station. According to the Peacekeeper's reports, they all burned to death. Yeah, that was sus. I was like, if you look a little harder, you know, maybe take the mask off and get your face just a bit closer, you'll notice a big-ass stab wound. Plus, one of them has a knife coming out of their chest. So, how'd you miss that? But that part seems off to me. The victims all burned to death according to the Peacekeeper's report. And they also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. Now the question is, did Yuma get woozy because of the drug, because he drank some coffee? Or was it because he actually felt sick because of the whole contract thing and, you know, his mind just wasn't right yet? He, it was like stress. Yeah, I think that's everything of note. <gasps> Why? Why? What a big cat! This should be enough solution keys to solve it. But I still don't know how to use them. And I wouldn't even touch them even if I do know how to use them. <laughs> nah, 
Foster, you worry too much. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. How about you go and make me some gloves that don't come out your mouth, you know? Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important too. A solution key is a manifestation of clues related to a case. You can acquire or update when you're investigating the case and moving the story along. According sure to this... hope you got all that down. Oh my god. Uh, acquired solution keys can be viewed in the notebook menu. Try checking out if a mystery labyrinth comes becomes too difficult to solve. There's bound to be some useful information. Shinigami's tutorial corner. I have I have a status sheet now. Labyrinth skills and abilities that can help you clear mystery labs. Acquire them by spending skill points, which can get get uh when, which you can get, read! <laughs> which you can get when you detective rank increases. Shouldn't be that weird. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but she can at least make me some gloves or something. <laughs> she just she just wants me to just touch her vomit. Just, you know, just be okay with it. Hey master, do you need a power up? Set whichever skills suit you best. Time to head off in search of the truth. Let's solve this thing. Oh yeah, okay, can can I look at this, please? You definitely want to remember this. Um, enlarge image. This is important, and I don't know why yet. <laughs> it's just, it's just really getting me. the um the abilities at though um wait maybe it's in here corporations three keys mystery labyrinth Detective mindset. You definitely want to remember this. If you're that lost, why not check your notes? I mean, so simple. you just said I have like abilities and such. Is whatever you Is that not the case the anymore? Where it should be the dot above profiles. Maybe I have to go inside to unlock it. Maybe that's the thing. Well, things really turn out fine. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe I have to actually be in the labyrinth for it to appear, for it to appear. So, this is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Hey, if we keep going, Will we really get to the truth? How about you go do it and you'll find out. She hasn't lied to you yet. Come on, would I lie to you? I told you the deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So, let's go. I'm so horny for mysteries right now. What? <laughs> You're... what? Yeah, exactly. Better write this down. There are places in the mystery lab where the path just goes on and on. You can't move on until the scene plays out. So keep following the path until it does. Okay. Uh, so what about now? Okay, there we go. There it is. Come on, pay attention! 
I mean, poor guy, he's kind of right. I mean, this is, I, for me personally, this is a go of the flow situation because it, you can't go back. You can only go forward in this case. I get that he would want to question everything, but at the same time, just, just shut up and do it. <laughs> just, just follow her lead. She hasn't led you astray, not one time, yet, yet. And until she does, yeah, you just gotta take her word for it. Uh, and abilities, you can check the master status, as well as acquire set abilities. You better not be skimming over this. Hey, master, do you need a power up? Set whichever skills suit you best. Okay, so what do I have now? Go back up. Thank you. Um... Cost one. How many do I have? Memory cost? Do I have this? Midsummer Night Feet, and she went in public so could remove one solution key. Remove one solution key, Shimigami will barf up. Okay. They barely know each other. Now he's in her realm. I think it's fair fair of him to be a bit careful of a literal death guy. I mean, again, uh, they have a pact and said that she will be with him till the day he dies, so she can't really harm him in any way, technically. I mean, I think she's like his source of, I think he's her source of entertainment. So she's like, why would I kill you? You're gonna get me, uh, give me so much uh, things to do, so much entertainment. I don't know what he said to her before he lost his memories to get her to agree, but it must have been awe-inspiring. It must have been the greatest thing ever. Increased stamina by 150, eh. In Reasoning Death- oh, Reasoning Deathmatch? Shorten the assist abilities. What? Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna acquire until I, like, experience what these are. Oh, okay, we just flip back and- According to her, he doesn't even know if anything she's- According to her, <laughs> he doesn't even know if anything she said. I read that all as one sentence, so I was like, wait, what? I mean, but again, she hasn't let him straight once yet, so we, we gotta trust right now. <laughs> He said just keep going until it stops, right? Okay, there we go. Hey, did something move just now? I mean, a lot of things moved. Oh, that's a Q. Q? Is that a monster living in the mystery labyrinth? They're not exactly monsters. Q are part of the mystery labyrinth itself. They're what materialize the mysteries. You have no intelligence or autonomy. All they do is manifest the mysteries in the labyrinths. Okay, just be okay. But since you are here to defeat mysteries, they're kind of like obstacles. So in other words, they're the enemy. Of course, as a detective seeking the truth, mysteries are your greatest enemy. Oh, I, I, I didn't know that was the end of it. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> tried moving my camera and said, nah. Kick it. Wh what is that? Jeez. Okay. 
Is that Mr. Slink's, uh, brother? What the? There are monsters here! That's a mystery phantom. <laughs> yes, it was my first reaction. You, you know, like in um, like say Dragon Quest or something like that. You see those little slimes, and they're like they barely come up to your knee. But people, like the game makes you like run away. Like, oh my god! I'm like, kick it. You could literally football kick it across the field <laughs> and get to where you need to go. It was this. It was the same size. I'm just like, okay. You, uh, you look uh, between that mix of cute and creepy, and so I'm just gonna kick you out the way. You, uh, you've been explained as an obstacle, and, uh, yeah. I have boots on. Leather boots, by the way. I just cleaned that right off. Get some water. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. A mystery phantom? Well, what's that? What's with this I told music? you that cues make mysteries materialize, right? Well, if there's someone in the real world trying to interfere with the case, that person also materializes. What is that man that was in, um, I forgot his name. The one that was huge, full of warmth and gold and, you know, just cared about his health with all the, with all that cigar smoke that was just wafting around his face, you know? What was his name? I just keep calling him Mr. Swank. <laughs> this is definitely his twin brother. A mystery phantom. Oh, so it was Swank. Okay. <laughs> Interfering with the case? Hey, doesn't he kind of look like Swank of the Peacekeepers? Yes. If the Peacekeepers are tied up in this, then maybe this incident has something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. You. You're the culprit. Huh? Uh... Okay. Since all the other passengers on the train are dead, you're the only one who could have done the crime. So you're the culprit. That's the truth behind this case. You know what? This is this is also kind of remind me of uh, Persona, because with the whole going to a different realm, the dealing with Mr. Swink's freaking shadow, like I still call him Mr. Swink, <laughs> Swink shadow like this, like I wouldn't be surprised if they got inspired by Persona to and add this little feature in it. But I like it though. Master, he's trying to frame you to bury the case. If you can't get past this, you can't reach the truth. What do I do? Should I just run away? A detective doesn't run from a mystery. You gotta defeat him. Defeat him? How? Master, are you ready to give your life for the truth? Huh? Just say, I am. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, you got nowhere else to go. I, yeah, I am. Say it with confidence. Someone else got to tell you this. What are you cursing my face for? Oh, okay. What's happening? Oh. Oh. doing a thing, let it happen. <laughs> I thought she was about to kiss me. I was like, well... I mean, I, if, if you count the train as our first date, this is... Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh my 
my god! I didn't know what was happening. She she started to like caress me with the waltz. I don't know, seduce me, and then she made me like <laughs> fist her in the mouth and pull out a sword. Like I I don't know. <laughs> so much happened. Solution blade. It's a sword with special powers to affect things inside the mystery labyrinth. What the fuck is happiest for this game? Well, I guess I'll be saying it a lot. <laughs> Use that to boom kill the mystery phantom. Let's do this. Whoa, slow down. Uh, how do I use this? I just noticed there was like a dog on a screen, like right next to his picture. Does does he have a dog somewhere that he's about to unleash upon us? I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. Anyway. Damage you take here is nothing to sniff at. It's not like an injury in the real world, but still. The more and more your mind realizes you've been hurt here. Oh boy. Your oh, never mind. Brain dead. Oh wait. Oh. Over. Time to start from the I was again. looking at that screen all wrong. Uh, I was only taking in from that screen, like from the neck down, and my mer and my brain conjured up. A glowing dog. Okay, so so no, it's just it's fat ass. Is just took too much of the freaking screen. Okay. No one wants that, so you'd better be super careful. Come on, pay attention. Traps and obstacles lie in wait inside the mystery lab, and make a mistake while facing them, and master's stamina will decrease. <laughs> what the? Yeah. This because I only saw it for a split second, but then once I saw like the front view again, I was like, "Oh, never mind. I'm I'm just uh, imagining that." Uh, no. You're dead, Master. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dead yet. This game will when the stamina runs out, so be careful as you uncover the truth. How will this work? Like, I'll tell you a mystery labyrinth. So dodge, 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 dodge. <laughs> Rebuttal. <laughs> so literally just move everywhere and just X. Dodge, dodge, duck, dodge. Okay. During the losing death match, a mystery phantom will attack Master while making statements about the case. Getting hit by a state means taking damage. So move up, down, left, right to avoid. To avoid it, track it carefully and dodge. Come on, pay attention! If a dodge... If you dodge a statement, at the very least, like, it brings a daring dodge. The more daring dodges you make, the bigger the bonus you'll get later. So give it a shot if you got the cuts. The Don't bonus forget! For, the bonus for successful daring dodge is based on the max amount you can dodge on the cycle. Basically, there's a cap on it. How much you can get? Oh, so there's a cap on how many times I can dodge. Don't let any shady statements slip by. Inflammable statements give you a chance to counter that. Statements might contain a contradiction. Slash through it with the solution blade and fight back against the phantoms. Okay, so when they're red, rebuttal. All right, got it. Master doesn't make mistakes, Jeez. right? Right. right. Can, can you let me talk? God dang! <laughs> to expose a contradiction, you gotta pick the right solution uh, key. The key is already set in the solution blade this time, so find the contradictionary inflammable statement and slash it. Okay. Slash those suspicious statements! If you slash a statement continue to move with the right solution key, you'll destroy it and damage the mystery. Oh, 
picking the wrong Oh, just like Dango Ripley used the right key to- Yeah, but this one seems like it might be quicker! Picking the wrong switch key or missing the timing means taking damage. Some friendly advice for you truly. No need to draw this out. Oh damn, I didn't mean to do that. You're the culprit behind this case. You murdered five bastard detectives. That's the only explanation. Everyone else is dead. You're the only one who could have done the crime! Let's flash through this mystery! <laughs> no! There's no way I could have done it! I wasn't conscious the whole time because I drank the drugged coffee in the dining car. Yep, I'm glad I'm- Okay, so it was because he drank the drugged coffee. Okay. It wasn't because he was, like, stressed out. I was wondering, I was like, it's one of these two. <laughs> no, that's wrong. <laughs> I was kind of, I didn't know how to dash that one statement when it was, like, taking over the whole thing. I was like, oh, no, it's either back or forth. It's no use. Your deduction is wrong. You were at the whole time! Looks like there's no to choose from the number of keys will change between RDMs. Use the correct key and slash through. Yeah, you can dodge left for it. Up and- okay. So basically up is jump, dunk is the down. Okay, got it. You better not be skimming over this. I already mentioned this, but attacking the wrong- Does the game pause if I- Press Y? Oh no, I can guess. Okay. Ooh, there's no other passengers. I think this one's gonna be used. Ridiculous! You're the culprit! You knew it was drunk! That's how you avoided being knocked out! The other detectives were drugged! And you went around killing them all! You're busted! You took the laced coffee and only pretend. No. Did the drink it? This is the truth. No. It does the game pause. I'm glad it does pause. The photography footage showed me drinking the coffee. I'm, I'm glad it does pause when because I know in Dung and Rampa it didn't pause like with the sword. Like you just had to figure things out within like two seconds and like switch, 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 switch. And I was kind of worried that was the case here. If I, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, but. <laughs> I can't read that. <laughs> Zonkey, uh, oh, dang, here he said that. No, that's, oh, okay. That proves I wasn't faking anything. Cool. That's wrong. Did I defeat it? Uh, I would say you made him stumble a bit. He'll be back. See? No matter how weak you are, things will turn out fine as long as I'm here. 
He tried to frame me as the culprit. Guess that's what Amaterasu Corp is doing. They want to set you up and call it a day. That's why the peacekeepers barged in as soon as the train hit the station. They probably planned this. So they knew what was going to happen. Then the culprit works for Amaterasu? Yep. Or someone hired by them. Either way, the peacekeepers want to hide who did it. So the reason Control Headquarters didn't respond to the emergency calls was because of Amaterasu? Probably. Now that we know what they're aiming for, we're one step closer to the truth. Let's keep this up and unriddle this mystery labyrinth so we can get to the truth. You're awfully casual about this. My life is at stake here. Yeah, but not hers. When you when you die, she just you know she's just gonna skip along. Like, la la la. I understand now that the mystery labyrinth is the case's mysteries given shape. But what do you do here, Shingan? Simply put, I'm the one and only cutie that can directly interact with the Mystery Labyrinth. The progress you've made in the Mystery Labyrinth and solving those mysteries here... It's all thanks to me! How are you able to do this? She's a death god. I don't know what to tell you. I've always been able to do this, so I forgot how. More importantly, Got drunk and knocked out. You are so pitiful, Master. Oh my god. Leave me alone. No wonder you're waddling around like a toddler. I thought I was dizzy because I've got this weird ghost thing haunting me. Huh? Making a pact with me won't make you dizzy. I mean, did it knock me out for like for like a couple hours? We did wake up in like a storage room. That just reduces your lifespan by a lot. Wait, what? Say that again? You're kidding, right? Oh my god. What? We gave up some of our years to make a pat with you? Anyway, who do you think is the culprit, Master? Do you have any guesses? Um, if the drinks were drugs in the dining car, the culprit must have been on the train before anyone else. Wait a minute. Didn't you say we gave something to you as... Like, we gave your memories? What do you mean we gave you some of our lifespan, too? Oh, so then all you have to do is ask around and figure out what order everyone got on board. Oh, wait a minute. You can't! You aren't taking this very seriously, are you? No, she's not. Which way should I go? This fork in the path is also a materialized mystery, so you should know which way to go if you solve it. First, let's clarify what mystery this is exactly. Uh huh? Uh, how do you do that? Like this! Why? Go! Ah, blood! Blood! <laughs> She's brutal. Quit overreacting, Master. This is a mystery labyrinth. It's fine. Anyway, take a look. <laughs> look at his face in the background. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, stream and credits roll. <laughs> Look at him, he's freaking out. He's like, get over it. What do you mean, get over it? You just slashed my neck. <laughs> I 
use the blood of the truth seeker as a conduit to expose the mystery blocking you your path. You just flowed my blood across the wall and put words on it. <laughs> oh. Is that a question? That's the mystery standing in your way. You just need to pick the right path and head on through. Is the copper one of the six on the train? I have two theories about that. You already know what they are, so <laughs> we're about to see. Six on the train. It must mean the six master detectives, including me, right? Why does he keep excluding himself like he's a seventh person? You ever notice that? He'll say, you mean the six masters? Including me? It, it makes it sound like he's not considering himself to be the sixth person. It's weird. It's, it's weird how he's saying it. If I don't think the culprit is among the six on the train, then I should take the right path, which says no. Oh, I have to decide? Ah. But if I think the culprit is one of the six on board, I need to take the left path that says yes. Hmm, which is no. it? No! Oh, you're gonna make me pick? There's only one truth! Questions relating to the case are asked in different forms inside the mystery. Choose the correct answers and take me to the truth. <sighs> but I have two different theories! I, what, it's a yes and a no for me. Uh, Okay, before I answer, I'm, I'll be I'll be like right back. Just, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like they are doing that purposely. It's written beautifully in a way excited to make it stay ambiguous. Uh, before I go in, before I make this very hard decision, I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong, it's gonna loop me back to here. But I'm gonna go and get me a. I'm gonna go get me some water right quick. Uh, so I'll be back in like a minute. Eh, a minute. Okay, I'm back. Let's go and make this hard decision to see. Uh, let's see how smart I am. <laughs> uh, questions relating to the case are asked in different forms, including the mystery line. Choose the correct answers to take me to the truth. Wait, what does she have to say? Then... Master? Okay. Um, is the culprit one of the six on the train? I'm the. What are your theories leading to each? Okay. For a part of me says yes because of the facts we have two people confirming saying that there are no other people in the train. But I'm also thinking no, because what if there was a seventh person who knew they would have to hide from these two freaking sonar type people 
and prepared a way to hide from detection. That's what I'm saying yes or no. Now, I'm gonna go with yes and then I'm gonna see what happens. Are you gonna kill me or something? So, you think the culprit is one of the six on the train, right? The culprit is your choice. Yes. Right here! Okay, let's go! Can I go through now? Oh, you got it right? Not bad at all, Master. Wait, I have it right? Ah! Something happened! Why? Did I make the wrong choice? It's trying to bury the truth again! Go get him, Master! Okay. These loading screens, I swear. Takes a bit of a minute. Your deduction is wrong! Okay, let's do our uh, terms of the two detectives. The map, uh... I think it's gonna be this one we're gonna end up using. Other than the six on the train, you must have had an accomplice. This is the truth. Two master detectives used their abilities to prove that only six people were on the train. If it was only one person, they could have been lying or an imposter. But two of them means there can be no mistake. Wrong! Your reasoning is completely off! How so, Godswink? What good? The victims all burned at the point. According to the law, the train did not stop once. I think it's gonna be this one. That testimony even do. Your accomplice just wasn't there when those two checked. But came aboard after them. So what if the windows don't open? While everyone turned out. You secretly stopped the train and let your partner board. Let's do this mystery. <laughs> the backup controller's operation log showed that the train never stopped. And the doors won't open unless the train stops. So it's impossible for someone to have gotten on during the trip. Okay, so doing Christmas. <laughs> okay, I'm glad. Looks like you're getting the hang of this, Master. You've learned to ruthlessly cut down any who stand in your way. You make it sound like I'm the bad guy here. I know, <laughs> but uh, I'm glad that my uh, my first choice was right because I was just like, hmm, hmm, because hmm. it could have been either or. Hey, I was wondering, if the mystery labyrinth is trying to block people from seeking the truth, wouldn't it reject my answers, even if they're right? Or, maybe the questions themselves could be lies. No chance. 
the mystery labyrinth has no self-will. It can't lie or create things not based on the real-world mystery. This place is a direct manifestation of a mystery. You can always progress as long as you keep solving it. In that sense, the labyrinth is fair. It won't cheat you. I see. That's a relief. By the way, about the culprit being one of the six of you... How could the culprit commit the crime when all the other passengers besides you were dead? Uh, and that's the true mystery here. I still believe a body was switched somewhere. Uh, okay. Don't slash my neck again. Another fork in the road. This is how we reach the truth. It reflects how problems are really solved, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if I've ever actually solved a mystery on my own. I don't remember it all. It doesn't matter. You just need to solve the mystery in front of us. Yuma, I think you need to take two steps like to the left. To avoid that scythe, that swear if she slashes our neck again. <laughs> Don't do it! Oh my god. <laughs> I literally just said, step away. <laughs> Say and you still stood there like an idiot just to get your neck slashed again. Everyone was dead, so how did the culprit pull it off? Commit commit so Commit suicide after the crime. Played dead. You just leave all the heavy loss to your lovely mystery lemon guide. Yeah. Okay, I think this is where my other theory comes into play. Because I still say that someone was switched. Someone's body wasn't a body. I mean, well, someone's body was a body, but it was the wrong body. So I'm gonna go with they played dead to avoid detection. Cause I, cause there's no point in committing suicide after the crime. Like you would really have to have someone's life in their hands for you them to do that. Um. But at the same time, playing dead is more like, you know, like there's a reward waiting for you after you're done. But this, I mean, this is like, this is, for a person to do this, you must have had nothing going for you. Like, you knew this was like your last mission. Let's say that's true. I'm not saying that it is or it isn't, by the way, but if it is, any ideas on how and who could have done it? This is where the suspect kind of starts to shift a little bit because the only the only person's body that I am suspicious of is Afix's because of how it looked. It just it it just looked like a body was there. It had no deciding features other than the fact that it was a male and it had his necklace. But if you look at everybody else, everybody else had clothes on, or at least a snippet of their clothes, something. There's something defining that said, that said, this is that person. Ava wasn't the only one. Well, I mean, was the only one. And the other thing that gets me is that why was Melanie in like in the middle of the dining room when the, well, no, that's good when the drugs hit. So that would have made sense. I'm, I'm just gonna go with play dead. I'm gonna go with play dead here. Come on. I'm still thinking here. Don't choose yet. What do you mean? Huh? Uh. What? What do you mean? You're still thinking. But come on. 
Huh? Uh, I don't think. Oh, okay. You're just gonna make me go to the store. Oh, I got it. So you think Avis's body was switched? I think so. Just because of how weird it looked. And that's why the suspect will start to like shift a little bit. I'm like, Ugh. I'm still suspecting Grandpa, but he's looking less, you know, less guilty if you think about it that way. Master, leave this to me. This has to be the right answer. Follow me. Oh my God! <laughs> Wait! Wait! I haven't told you my safe word. <laughs> Why did you answer it for me if there was a fork in the road? Because if they did commit suicide after the crime, they'd be dead right now. Yes, exactly. And that's no fun at all. That's your reasoning? Wait, what's this chain? I told you we share mind and body. The chain is proof of that. Our relationship can never be broken apart. That's terrible! Please, you should consider yourself lucky. You're being haunted by a cutie like me. What, are you tired? I'm so tired. Oh, you are tired. I pulled you up here, so you can walk the rest of the way yourself. I didn't ask you to do that. I mean, I was gonna choose play dead anyway. Why did the game make me? So you think this path will lead toward the truth, right? No idea. This is a labyrinth. It's pretty common to encounter dead ends. F.A., why are you fighting my bot? Whoa, watch out! What did I tell you? Dead end. Wait. Don't sound so proud of yourself. You chose this path, Shinigami. Wait, so this path is wrong? Yeah, I can see. What, what, what are you doing that is making my bot fight you? Hmm. If it's a dead end... Maybe the culprit wasn't just playing dead. Wait, so they actually were dead? I searched all five bodies, and they were, without a doubt, Oh, Demon dead. Lord! How are you doing? Welcome to the stream! Oh, so the answer isn't played dead. Let's turn back. Dang. So my first theory was wrong. They act Man, they were... So they committed suicide after... But why? Why would you do this? I... I should probably be... Hey, if you need to go and take a nap, Demon Lord, go, go take a nap. You changed your mind Oh, and how was your stream, by the way? Exploring all possibilities is an important part of beating a mystery labyrinth. And <laughs> now you're here. <laughs> Who needs sleep when you have, you know, Red Bull, Monster, Coffee? <laughs> Who needs energy? <laughs> I'm so awesome. By the way, I did say I can guide you through the mystery labyrinth. Oh, that's good. But I'm not that good at solving mysteries. Yeah, no kidding. You could have said that a little earlier. I mean, I've had my, like... Just to recap you, I'm in a, I'm in a labyrinth. Um... Oh, yes. <laughs> I also fixed the sound alert, so now you can hear them. <laughs> Hey, why'd you play sad music? <laughs> I just wanna help. I like when you rely on me, Master. 
anyway, what's going on in the real <laughs> world while we're in the mystery labyrinth? You don't know. <laughs> this just shows that you're tired. <laughs> you're just doing crazy stuff. Time is stopped on the other side. We're sort of set apart from the normal flow of time while we're here. In other words, you're still surrounded by peacekeepers. Oh, I was wondering about that. I was like, are they going to see that we vanish or does time just stop? Oh, my day was good. I'm just glad for once I can do a stream without, you know, anything going wrong. Because usually it's my internet or, le or like the last time it's a technicality, a technical difficulty or something. I'm glad for once with a stream that it's just everything is going right. <laughs> So if we return without solving the mystery, we'll just be captured. Scuff happens? You mean stuff happens? Yes, yeah, stuff happens. As a result, this murder case will remain unsolved and linger in people's memories as a serious Scuff. <laughs> Naturally, this mystery labyrinth will also survive. And that creates an even bigger problem. Which is? Leaving a case unsolved means that it will go down in history that way. Okay. The more bizarre a mystery is, the more it attracts people's interest. And the more people rack their brains about that mystery, the bigger the mystery labyrinth gets. Eventually, the mystery labyrinth would gain enough power to start affecting the real world. Oh, jeez. Uh, how so? When we consider a scuff stream something usually goes wrong slightly but not bad the stream goes up yeah that's basically what the last stream was. there was there was a bit of a scuff there was a scuff a little technical difficulties here and there it would implant insidious ideas into people's minds creating more murderers and in turn new mystery labyrinths jeez I, I tried to fix it during the last stream, but you saw <laughs> I killed, almost killed the stream in the process. I was like, oh! Labyrinths can create endless cycles. That's why it's best to cut it off as soon as possible. No, oh, thank you. It sounds way more daunting than I thought. So what are your plans for the rest of the day or night? No idea. All right. There's nothing wrong with that. You just go with the flow. The other route is commit suicide after the crime. There's no other option, so it has to be the right answer. Man, that's just sad. What could have pushed? Uh, like, what could push someone to do this? I'm going to commit mass murder on a train and kill myself just to frame you because they saw him they saw him pass in the bathroom but they kind of said nah he's not worth the effort that's why he lived because they didn't see him worth the effort to kill hmm. Suicide after the crime would mean after killing the other four, the culprit killed themselves, right? Is that really the right answer? The mystery labyrinth's roots represent logical deduction. If there's only one route, then it's the only possibility. I think the only option left is the culprit off himself. Oh, you just need to find that suicidal pest. But who would do so? I thought I failed somehow. This is 
part of the mystery materializing. You just need to solve it. What? Are you just gonna kick me down a mine shaft? On what? Who was the last person to die during this incident? Uh, the culprit. This way. If the culprit committed suicide after the crime, then the last person that died should be the culprit. Right, because they wouldn't be able to kill someone else <laughs> off themselves already. I hope I get the. I hope I get this right the first time around. <laughs> I hope I end up killing myself. Come on, let's try again. You set the fire the, to the dead culprit. Must be it. Of course, the person who started the fires must be the culprit. I'll die burn to death, so the culprit who died last totally burned himself. But, okay, here's where my other theory comes in. I truly think that it was in reverse because, you know, like, um, Zilch was being burned last. It's either Zilch or Apex. Come on, let's try again. Who was the last person to be burned to death? Other four, then set themselves on fire. His silch. <laughs> so was my my boy Zilch. But, you know, setting aside the idea that the culprit was the last to die, why would it be Detective Four Eyes? Didn't we discover his body first? According to the peacekeepers, the victims all burned to death, right? But when we first found Zilch in car one, he wasn't burnt yet. If that's the case, that means he must have burned to death after that. Although, everyone else we found after him had already died from burns. Alright, so if they all burned to death, then the last one who died could be Detective Four Eyes. I think the culprit killed everyone in the opposite order of how we found their yep. corpses. Yep. Okay. One of my theories has now been confirmed. Everyone died backwards. Man, poor Apex got <laughs> he got fucked up first. Jeez. Ah. Uh... You were second to last on my suspect list. God dang it. This just shows I can't be a detective sometimes. You were my husband. God dang it. <laughs> I really wanted to be Grandpa. Grandpa just looked like, like the most suspicious person out of everybody. He was the most suspicious for several different reasons. But it was my boy Zilch. Fourth place on the suspect list. Yeah, he was fourth. Ah. <laughs> But when I started thinking that everything, everyone died backwards, I was like, wait. Starting from car five, he killed them in order one by one, then set himself on fire in car one. But why did he do it? That's the thing. What's the motive here? What could they have told him to make him do this? So Detective Four Eyes is without a doubt the culprit, but he committed suicide. Huh? Extreme dying? Um, refresh your uh, browser. Oh no. Let me know when your stream comes back. Try refreshing it. Yeah, just just try refreshing. Um, and see if it like works then. Is it still lagging on you? 
but it didn't work oh. out too well, I think. But, oh, you think it's working out? Okay, good. Okay, so maybe it was just a lapse of, like, uh, internet connection or something. That's why I stare at, like, my internet, like, bar, my signal. I'm just like, mm. Mm. <laughs> don't do this. It worked? See, I told you it would be fine. I'm such a terrific guide. Yeah. That slipped my throat like twice. Is that the end of it? I guess that's everything. Seems easier than I thought. Mm, what's wrong, Master? I'm wondering if that's really all that happened. Something about this seems off. Yeah, there's no motive. Yeah, like... Absolutely, I cannot say their name, but we call them Amazon. <laughs> they, they, uh, they sent him to Kirim before they get to Kanye Ward, but what did they tell him to get him to do this? Because no one does this. I'm like, no one just, like, you know, you gotta make that deal sound really, really sweet for me to, I mean, sweet, sweet. Like, I don't know what you could tell me to make me go on a suicide mission like this. It does? You think so? No, don't do it! <laughs> ah. ah! What's going on? Conclusion, Zilf killed the other four, then set fire to the himself. The conclusion? Is this the truth behind the case? There's only one door, no other options. Maybe this really is the end. Kind of a simple conclusion despite five people dying. Well, I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you, Master. Nah, I don't think it was that simple. Wait. Mystery labyrinths contain all the mysteries of the real world case, including things like misdirection, right? Which means this could be an attempt by the culprit to mislead us. So, you don't think this is the truth? What makes you say that? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling the case isn't closed yet. If so, then this door could be a fake. How can we tell? If you think it's fake, why not try breaking it? It'll be bad news if you're wrong, though. Oh, jeez. And I won't tell you exactly what will happen. I don't want to affect your judgment. You've already affected my judgment. <laughs> By like a lot. I guess the only way to find out is to destroy it. How do I do that? Uh, open conclusion door, demolish conclusion. So it's killed the other four, then set fire to himself. Yeah, because there's more going on here. There's no motive. There, there's no reason for him to do this. Because if he did do this, as there's now a lot of evidence saying that he did, why? So it was fake. It was the culprit trying to throw us off the trail. You said it just quit while you were ahead. Yep. It's rare for a fake exit to appear. This mystery labyrinth is way tougher than I thought. Master, don't let your guard down. Make sure you drop your money before you drop dead. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. You and money, I swear. Can even make snap judgments. 
Wait, mis mystery phantoms sometimes throw out noise. These will obstruct your vision and get in the way to use faster station to cut them down. These will obstruct your vision to get in the way. Use faster station to cut them down. Okay. Are you gonna remember all of this? The more <laughs> noise destroyed, the bigger the bonus you'll get. So when it pops up in front of you, be aggressive and attack. Sure, hope you got all that down. Uh, the bonus for destroying noise is based on the maximum you destroy in one cycle. But there's a cap how much you get. Okay. The ghost ring will ask me, Silch! Oh, jeez. Reason is obvious. I'm Zelch sorry. Is the only one who could have done the crime. Sorry, I was like panically pressing. Um, Melanie's corpse discovered in her day. It was burnt to a crisp, but the face was still barely recognizable. The knife and corpse? Hmm. So, yeah, now we come to the other thing that I was kind of suspicious about. The think about it, Zilch's suicide by fire doesn't make sense. Because when I saw Zilch through the window, there was a knife in his chest. If he burned himself, then why would there be a knife stuck there? <laughs> you little brat. Fine. I'll answer you. Let's stay on two. Coffee. I was a knife stuck in the body. I think it's gonna be coffee. Uh, of course I know why. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. Stabbed himself so he would pass out easy. Then set himself on fire. Dying by fire is a painful way to go. He wanted to make it less painful. The culprit has to be Zilch. He committed suicide by self-immolation. Oh. Shit. Aw, oh, man. True. No. I was the knife stuck in the body. Uh, of course I know why. It, yeah, it was to knock himself out. I flash through this mystery. Unconscious. He would have used the drugged coffee in the dining car. Oh, it's true. That's a much easier way to pass out. <laughs> there were just so many buttons that I kind of got distracted and I was like getting confused. So they're trying to mislead you about the cause of death for Detective Four Eyes. Right. The Peacekeeper said all the detectives burned to death. But Zulch's corpse in the first car is different. Yeah, because that was the, that's like one of the things you always gotta know about, like, cases and everything like that. You got, there's always gotta be a motive, and Zulch had no motive to do this. And even if he had gone through with it, I don't think he would take himself out. 
It looked more like he was stabbed to death. So the Peacekeeper's report was a lie? But they have no reason to do that. Wait, what do you mean, what am I thinking? <laughs> I just said what I was thinking. If they wanted to set you up as the culprit, they'd be raising questions by fabricating reports. About which part are, are you thinking about? Yeah, you're right. They all must have died by fire, after all. And for some reason, only Zilch appeared to have been stabbed to death. I get it. So that's what was bothering me. But no matter how hard I think about it, I can't seem to figure out what happened next. Huh? Why's that? Well, if you think about all this about Zilch, if you think all of this is about Zilch is alive, what do you think is the truth? Are you believing it wasn't Zilch to begin? Mm. Okay, I, hmm. I do believe there's more going on here because when it went straight for to kill the four and everything like, uh, kill the other four and all the good stuff, it just seemed like something else was missing. And the thing is, Zilch has no motive to do this. So, now I gotta rework my theories. Now I gotta be like, okay, either Zilch, uh, either he did do it and we just don't know the motive yet, or it could be Zilch saw what happened, caught the culprit in action, and the culprit like went after him, stabbed him, and just dragged him to the um to the infirmary and then you know like set him on fire and all the good stuff and walked off it could be either one of those because you still gotta remember there's still blood on uh, inside of a locked door so something happened there and all that good stuff <laughs> all that good stuff yeah all that good stuff I don't have enough clues about Zilch in the first car. I should have investigated it more after discovering the body, but I was too preoccupied with calling for help. Please let my boy be somewhat innocent. <laughs> Please, Zilch, let it be that you are a proud uh, version of Byakuya Tsugami and you would never soup so low. As to do this crazy shit. <laughs> so we're stuck right here. I don't see any other routes to break through this mystery. I don't even know what mystery we gotta solve right now. But I do know there can't be a labyrinth without a goal. The truth is always behind a mystery. So do we have to go back to reality? And then we just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth? you had investigated more, right? So, you think you'd have the answer if you'd done that? Huh? Yeah, maybe. Oh, fine. My secret weapon is so draining, I try to avoid using it as much as possible. Proud? Who say anything about proud? I didn't say proud. Are you hearing things? Just love it when you rely on me, Master. Oh, the proud version of Bayaki. Because he is proud. I have a bad feeling about this. What are you trying to do? What, the knockout punch this you? Is all for you, Master. Don't tell me that. And you swing your fist at me. Ready, Master? No. Oh. Jesus. Oh. The abuse. <laughs> so badly what's going on 
<laughs> Look at his face. She actually knocked you into, into a few hours ago. Yeah, pretty much. I'm extracting your memory and materializing it inside the mystery labyrinth. This is my super cute special weapon. See, if you investigate here, you might make some new discoveries. Hey, di um, did the stream um freeze again? I just want to know, just in case, because it freezes on. Uh, I can see the on a nerd screen that it kind of freezes. Seems fine. Okay, so maybe it's just me. The shock from all this is making my head spin. You don't have any time to waste, Master. This was pumped out of that slow brain of yours, so don't assume it'll stick around for long. She could be calling me slow. You have until the pain in your head clears up. Now hurry and investigate. Got it. I'll hurry. Okay, so now I have to readjust my suspect list now. Okay. So now Zilch has gone from top of the list for obvious reasons. So now it is Zilch, Aphex, Zange, Melanie, Poochie. Oh, jeez. Cushion. This wasn't here before. Huh? This cushion? Was it always there? There seems to be a stab wound in it. Also, it looks like it has a hole in the middle of it. So it's Apex Sound Game. Yep, that that is the new suspect list until new information is entered. was made by something sharp. What did this? The knife. A cushion found next to the bed. It has a hole in it as if it was punctured by something sharp. Oh, so I can get solution keys here too. You may have seen it but forgotten. And that just means you didn't think anything of it at the time. But it is in your memory, so you can use it as a clue. You can do that? You're incredible, Shinigami. <laughs> Go on, keep complimenting me. Man, you sure are making my head hurt. Hey! There should be new info inside. This won't hold up for too long. Hurry up and investigate. This blanket is mostly burned, but some parts near the knife are unscathed. It doesn't look like there's blood on the blanket at all. But how could that be? A burned blanket that was placed over the corpse, there's no blood on it. Probably because it was punctured by the pillow? Fading. I guess the pain is starting to go away too. Looks like time's up. Well, did you find anything? As much as she is a pain, literally given the status of your head right now, <laughs> she is quite helpful and her powers are quite incredible. Her powers are incredible and very useful. Yeah, I think I see the contradiction here. Although I'm not completely sold on it. Come on, this is where you're supposed to declare, I've solved the mystery. Well, if you think you're on the right track, then I guess we should do this next. Do what? 
It's for when you're stuck in your deductions. Remember what I said earlier? Every labyrinth has a goal. So even when you're stuck, there's always a way out. And we're gonna find it by working together. Working together? Lay it all out, Master! What is it now? Where are we going? I'm frightened. What? Well, where in the beach? What is happening? We are gonna expose the truth together. New mini game. <laughs> yeah, Miss Light. Why are we at the beach? The Shimigami puzzle is one of my secret techniques in solving hidden truths. Oh, my bad. What? The truth is hiding somewhere in the in the letters on the side of the barrel containing yours truly. Ready? Read the question. Fire! Read the question, then knock out the letters in the right order. Make a mistake and time will be reduced. The correct answer is somewhere inside your head, Master! Hangman's ah! I hate it. I hated Hangman's Cabin because of the stress of it. You're just like, please, I just need another letter. <laughs> Master, it's time for the solution key. By the way, if you feed me the solution key floating in the bear, I'll give you whatever hint comes to mind. Grab the key and bring it to my mouth. Don't you forget. But there are some foods you can't get hit from. If I eat one of those, time will be released. Ah, oh, dang. Move pointer, grab sushi key, throw blade. Detective Zosha's death. Detective Zosha's death was actually a. Twirling, twirling. Oh. Um. D? I'm gonna go with D. Wait. Am I supposed to do this? Oh my god. I'm losing so much. I'm trying to figure out how to play this game. I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> Shoot with Ed. I'm trying to shoot. I am. I am shooting with X. I I don't get it. Like for some reason the the thing was going over Damn my head. It. I don't get it. <laughs> like, I'm pressing every button it's saying to press. I restart from last checkpoint. Like, for some reason, it's just going over my head. I don't know why. It's saying shoot with X, and I'm shooting with X. What didn't you get? I don't get how it's supposed to work. Oh, it's fading. I guess the pain is oh, starting we're to back. go away. Looks like time's up. Yeah. Come on. Well, if you do what? It's for when remember what so Ethan we're gonna working play it. It said press shoot with X. I'm shooting with X. I'm like, what do you want? You shoot the letter that you believe is to threat next to the what? Are you ready to play the Shinigami puzzle? <laughs> That's one it. Twirling, twirling, twirling. Whoa. 
Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh my god, can I like pause it, please? I don't get it. My brain, I don't know what it is. I'm just, I'm just pressing things. That I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but something isn't making sense to me. Uh, would it shoot the letter that you believe is the correct... Shoot the letter that it, you believe oh, is... Oh, it's fading. Shoot the oh my god. Oh my head hurts. Shoot the letter that you believe is the correct that is correct next to the letter in the word you're trying to make. You have to complete the question. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to complete it, but I'm just what then what's with the side things? What's with the keys on the side? I don't I don't understand. What are they there for? I guess the pain is starting to go away too. Looks like time's up. Well, did you find anything? Keys are used as tip you don't necessarily need them. But I'm pressing X and all I'm doing is hitting the barrel. Like it's not going anywhere. You're hitting the wrong I hit every letter every letter was wrong and then what was then what's the point of the keys were they supposed to hit her I hate hanging Miss Gavin yeah I know you didn't you shot well, if the you thing think you're on the right track but it's a deering right next I don't know how to spell a deering but I'm pretty sure there's a D in there I'm just gonna press every letter do what? Fuck this game. <laughs> Fuck this mini game. I, I don't I don't care. You getting me to spell and shit, like all it's gonna do is gonna make me throw my controller at the screen. Death was actually um I don't know. Go, go, go. I hate this fucking game. I hate go, hanging go, this game. Go. Hate you. I don't give a fuck. I don't get 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 out of my fucking face with this goddamn mini game. I don't care. I'm too angry to appreciate this scene right now. I'm too pissed off. You feed the human key if you think you don't know the answer, but that's right. When I saw Zilch through the window, it appeared as if the knife was stuck in his chest. I need like live demos of that crap. Like, I, you can't just tell me directions. I won't understand. But in actuality, he stabbed the blanket wrapped cushion to make it look like he had been stabbed. That's why the blanket didn't have blood on it. Even though the cushion was stabbed, Zilch's death was a red herring. It was meant to mislead us. I didn't even take any info of what you just said, other than the fact that stabbed cushion and fake death or whatever. I, I'm too angry to care. <laughs> I'm too 
mad. Like, I know to anybody else that looks simple, but for some reason my brain could not wrap around what I was looking at. It was just like, I just see like things happening and I couldn't pause to like let my brain process. This just says with red hands to hide the truth. It's a new solution key. If it was a red herring, that means he wasn't really dead. Yeah, Zilch was faking his death to fool us. So he was still alive, so that means he was probably just drugged or something like that. Because, I mean, again, you're set on fire. You, you would still, like, ah! you would get up and move. That knife was just to trick me into thinking he was dead when I looked through the window. But the Peacekeeper's report saying they all burned to death created a contradiction. So the culprit was just plain dead. It's exactly what I said. In a roundabout way, yes. Which means that dead end in the abyss could have a new path now. Let's hurry back! Oh, so you're gonna make me run all the way back. No ride, no nothing. Wait, hold on. Oh, wrong button. Move one solution key, she can whoop barf up. Wait, why would I want less keys though? That's weird. Uh, increased stamina doesn't really affect me right now. Uh, I'm just going to shorten the assist ability of recovery time. Oh, less fake keys. Okay. I thought we were just saying like less keys. I was like, what? tired again what's wrong it's too much of a hassle to go all the way back there I don't want to walk anymore you've been floating the entire time some guy you are besides you're not even walking yeah call her out I despise effort and hard work I want to head back the easy way oh I know I have a convenient transportation method thanks to my awesomeness it lets us go anywhere you've been before. Oh, it's wow, not equipped, it's just unlocked. Time to use it. What's convenient? Wait, what? Zoom evac? I, I'm just gonna go with zoom. See? Super easy. Yeah, sure. But unfortunately, using it does drain a little bit. Drain a little bit of what? Do you have MP or something? <laughs> Your lifespan. Oh my god. <laughs> my lifespan? Again? So we passed through how did the culprit pull it off junction and have taken the play dead turn again. Now that we have a new solution key, I'm sure we can solve this mystery and access what's ahead. Let's give it a try. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important too. Solution keys can be used to break through mysteries in the way. We're gonna expose the truth together! Select the solution key that appears the question... Um, 
get it together and the mystery will disappear. Um, you said that I didn't unlock it. I mean, I didn't equip it. Oh. Can you only equip one skill at a time or something? Okay, there we go. Increase deathmatch lower assist recovery rate. It's many. Okay, as long as I have the points. All right. Oh, wait, again. Hold on. Let me do a Wait. I cannot save right now. Ah. What proves the copper plate dead? Zilch was trying to trick us into thinking he'd killed himself. But you still ended up dying. Unless that wasn't Zilch. A bridge. But we saw See, him. Didn't I say the path would appear? Uh. Because we found the right deductive clue to break through. I'm so amazing. You can pat me on the head if you want, Master. Well, maybe later. We opened the play dead root thanks to the corpse red herring solution key. So Zilch really faked his death to mislead us. Why are there cows in the background? If so, he is absolutely the culprit. Now, we just need to prove it. But even if the mystery labyrinth is fair when it comes to solving mysteries, the real world will be different, right? What if Amaterasu Corp decides to protect the culprit, even if we prove who really did it? Oh, you're worried they'll just cover it up? No need to worry about that. Huh? Why's that? Let's save the fun for later. <laughs> oh, the ground! It's falling apart! Why? Wasn't this the right route? Maybe the logic still has some holes in it. Whoa! Master, you better concentrate! Why are you putting me in a chokehold? Saw through the window action zilch. No. Oh, chief. <laughs> well. Okay, so it really was zilch, alright? The twin brother thing. Okay, not true, alright. When I saw zilch through the window, he was faking his death with the knife through the cushion. That was definitely the real Zilch. Was the burnt corpse in the current action Zilch? I'm gonna still say no. The corpse I investigated was real, it just wasn't Zilch's corpse. In other words, Zilch swapped himself out for a real- corpse. Okay, so I was right. I- 
Instinct was right, execution was wrong. Okay, got it. Don't swap places with the corpse in the infirmary before Yumi entered, after Yumi entered. Before? The corpse was switched right before I broke the infirmary window to open the lock. The blazing fire had filled the room with smoke, so I couldn't make anything out through the window. Zilch used that smoke as cover to switch himself with a dead body. to show he died from burning. It was also a smoke screen to swap out the corpse. Right. In the smoke, he switched places with a corpse he had hit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Where the corpse was hidden. Okay, I thought it was wrong. I was like, oh no. Because the room was filled with smoke. He needed to put the body somewhere he could access immediately. Where are you thinking? If he needed to get to the body as quickly as possible, only one place makes sense. What place is suspicious? Where was the bird swap of it hidden? We use on screen for to select the spot to answer questions. You can search every nook and cranny. You can pick the spots where the icon changes. Master the doesn't make means mistakes. Right? 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 Where was the front of the foot hidden? I mean, we only got two options here, so. Here. I like that animation. That's it! The bird corp was hidden right there! Ugh, oh, don't lick me! Uh, hey! After another, this is really bad for my heart. We're not done yet. Hurry, let's speed it up. Shinigami, you might be fine because you're floating around, but this is really tough for me. I can't believe it. He had the corpse hidden under the blanket. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I was so, so cushioned on running that I forgot to click. The detective was sleeping next to a dead body. I'm so jealous! I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Zilch was lying in bed with the corpse. He got up once the smoke screen was ready. He took the corpse out from under the blanket, pulled the knife out of the cushion, and stabbed it. That way, even after he switched with the corpse, he could just hide to avoid me. Where did Detective Four Eyes hide after that? It must have been someplace with easy access, which must mean... Under the bed. He could have quickly hid there. Yeah, because you didn't check under there. Which means, if you checked under the bed at the time, you would have caught that four-eyed idiot. But back then, I was in such a hurry to warn the other master detectives. I'm sure he calculated all that, too. He knew I'd panic. Maybe he was planning to take advantage of you from the very beginning, and that's why he let you live. Yeah. I think Zilch was the one who peeked into the restroom while I was sleeping there. All I could think about 
as you were in there was about this moment. What? What moment? The moment that we went inside the the room and saw the burnt corpse. Oh my bad. I Oh, I keep forgetting I have to I click. I was supposed to be sleeping in the infirmary, so he must have planned to move me before committing the crimes. He kept looking at the blank covering the bottom of the bed as you first entered the infirmary. Oh, did, just to see if I'll catch it. I passed out in the restroom, but that didn't hinder his plans. But I would. So he went with it. So, but my instinct was right that bodies were switched here. I was just like, there's no way. Speaking of which, wasn't it Detective Four Eyes who told you to go to the first car? Yeah, he must have planned to make me witness everything and set me up as the culprit. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I'm starting to see the whole picture now. Not bad, Master. Maybe you were a big shot detective before you lost your memories. No. If I really was a great detective, I would have caught the culprit in the infirmary before any of this happened. I still suspect that his personality is going to change when he gets his memories back. I feel like he will get his memories I back. So. It's just going to be like, we're going to get a whole different person here. By the way, where did he get the corpse he was hiding in the blanket? Is that corpse? Well, um... Yeah, because if everyone was dead, who would he switch with? Nah, you can't catch it. Game doesn't let you. I was just imagining so much under the bed as he like he probably just crossing if he was like, please don't look under here. Please don't look under here. Ah, again! I won't let you go any further. <laughs> Getting in our way again, huh? If you stand against my ruthless master, he'll chop you up and stir fry you with veggies for dinner. Uh, I think that's you. Uh, not me. Don't put me into this. I will not. These loading screens. Y'all need to work on that. Make that a little smoother. Yeah, <laughs> you've been like, whoa. Master, I'm lending you a hand from here on out. I'll assist you when you're in a pinch. Huh? Assist? It's the rule of the Mystery Labyrinth to assist whoever you're accompanying. Now let's go, Master. Looks like you might not need assist after all, Master. Oh, is it probably because of that skill I put? Usable when recovery gauge is at max. By using assist, your partner inside Mr. Lump will help out. When, par this could be the clincher. when partner's assist is activated, a mystery phantom statement will inflict any. Oh, won't inflict any damage. I so use it to take a close look at what it's saying. Okay. I'm gonna go with Aphex's corpse. Cause his was the most sus to me. His corpse was the most sus. I won't let you pass! Aw, oh, jeez! Ah. Uh, Enough of your nonsense! You think he swapped with a corpse? It'd be impossible to switch like that! Someone who can replace Silch. What these would be the same size as him. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. Oh jeez. Ah, oh, crap, crap, crap. I, I, I. Mm -hmm.
I jumped in so fast. Enough of your nonsense. Let's do it, Master. You think he swapped with a corpse? It'd be impossible to switch like that. Someone who could replace Silt would need to be the same size as him. He didn't have a bag that could carry a corpse. It would have been down at the station. It'd be impossible to get it on board. There was no corpse to replace anyway. This is the truth. Yes, I was right. Apex, of course, was the most sus. There's no need to bring an extra corpse for the swap. He just needed to reuse a dead body on the train. To be honest, maybe it was best you didn't catch him. Yeah, just killed four people in a very brutal way. You might not be here if so. I mean, yeah, if we did catch him under the bed. He probably would have jumped us. And I'm just noticing, you see how his little hair thing on the top is now like a straight arrow up? <laughs> just... <laughs> like, is that supposed to mean you're super alert now? It's Apex's body from the fifth car! He and Zilch are nearly the same height, and both have stab wounds in their chests. So the corpse that was switched was Apex's! Ah, damn it! <laughs> How could someone like you find the truth? Um, you're just sweating mascara right now, just... <laughs> uh, true! Uh. <laughs> okay, so he's gone, gone now. You mean Yuma's Ohe? What is Ohe? Translation, please. Now we don't have to fight anymore. Even if that's true, don't let your guard down. The mystery labyrinth isn't over yet. Stay alert until the very end. Uh, all right. short-tempered idiot will be used for a body swap. Yep. Uh, the strand of hair sticking up in his head, the trim of all spiked to his MCs, yeah, they all have it. But yeah. Like, it was just sticking up. I was like, are you super alert now? Is that what that means? Thinking back, the reason the corpses in the first and the fifth cars were burnt was to switch them out. But the corpse was so badly burned that I couldn't tell it was Apex. That must be what the necklace was for, so I could identify. Yeah, it. like I'm the, like like I said before, I was just like, it's so burnt, and the only thing that was noticeable was the gold chain out of every little thing. The gold chain? Nah, I don't believe that. Well, reusing a corpse is rather environmentally friendly of the culprit, don't you think? He totally went green. Oh my god. I mean, we gotta recycle everything in our day and age, so you gotta get the most value out of corpses too, you know? I think it's super adorable, especially the fat. It looks, <laughs> it looks like a question mark. It does look like a question mark. Mm. He's like, I'm not even gonna comment. Not the culprit. I am a victim who was already killed. You don't sound so sure. So, 
Leave me alone! Hey, he ran away! After him, Master! It, yeah. You said the body in the first car's infirmary wasn't me, but Aphex? But you went to car five after car one, and discovered his corpse there. How was the corpse transported from car one to car five? That'd require moving past you. Yeah, I was thinking that too. That's right, if he slipped past us, when did that happen? Do, do we just keep going? Okay, he stopped. Uh, for some reason, it reminds me of the only up game. Uh. Alright, what are my choices here? Where did he run off to? Um. Another mystery that needs to be solved. Removing the body from car one, car up the copper moved through the train. Did not move. No, he didn't move through the train. I think he moved above the train. How would he do that? Because obviously, if he went inside, you know, if he went to car to car, he eventually would have been caught. So maybe that's why the system went down for that split second. Did not move through the train. If he'd gone outside the train instead of through it, he could have passed us. No, that's impossible. 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 So we gotta impossible. make him. We gotta make him believe that he's the culprit now. I'm sorry, my boy Zilch. Oh! Impossible. Impossible. Oh. Impossible. 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 Oh my God. Impossible. Uh, you okay there? Ah! Zilch turned into a mystery phantom. Kill him until there's only a sorry slab of flesh left. Okay, uh, six hours later. Alright, what are we looking at here? Blackout and shaking. Yeah, blackout and shaking is definitely the key here. Didn't pass through the train. Did you think the corpse was brought in from outside? The windows are all locked shut. The door's locked when the train is moving. We know the train never stopped once. If the windows and doors are shut, there's no way to get out while the train is moving. No issues occur during the train's operation. This is the truth! No, there was something strange. The blackout and shaking that happened when I was in car 2 and car 4. Yep. Uh. When the blackout occurred and the shaking started, I was 
certain something else happened in the train. Maybe it has something to do with the mystery of the moving corpse. Don't be stupid! So what if there was a little blackout and some gentle swaying? Okay, what we got here? Forget the shit! Um, some plate, loveless blanket. We'll say that. Taking in the blackout! They were nothing but coincidences! The blackout was just a bad contact. The shaking was the tunnel air pressure. There's nothing odd about that. It's all just a coincidence. It's impossible to include that in a criminal plot. Okay, so... Come on. No. Forget the shaking and the blackout. They were nothing but coincidences. The blackout was just a bad contact. Nope. I thought there was going to be another red one. No, the blackout didn't occur because of a connection failure. It was due to the main control system failing and switching to the backup control system. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. The blackout occurred during that one second when the system switched over. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> so you're gonna run me over? Because you can't accept the truth? a thing as a good phantom? After him! You've got to keep solving the mystery and prove kill that mystery phantom! <laughs> Drag him by the chain. Master, you may know the cause of the blackout, but what does that have to do with how the corpse was moved? The failed main control system was in car one, where the body swap occurred. If so, then the main control system's failure must have something to do with moving the corpse. So maybe the culprit broke the main control system. He must have attempted to stop the train to bring in the corpse from the outside. But the train never stopped. The operation log confirms the train was moving the entire time. Okay. So I don't think he broke the system to bring the corpse in. Then why did the main control system fail? Hmm. It must have something to do with moving the body. But you're unsure exactly how. Huh. In that case... Oh my god. I knew it! A mystery is blocking you! Anything blocking you in here is also a mystery. <laughs> so let's solve it to keep on going. So you know you can just tell me to stop running. I mean, look at my poor boy right now. He's choking. He's like, why do I have to suffer like this? Stop. Oh my god. <laughs> The main control system was lost when car so one was... this is the question we're facing right now. The main control system must have failed because something happened in the first car. If that's true, what exactly happened? If it's related to the body being moved, then how? Hmm... Master's expression is so serious. He must be thinking hard. Well, as his mentor, I better think hard, too! <laughs> the main control system failing? The blackout? 
The train shaking? Oh, yeah! Why did the train shake like that? There was a blackout right before entering the tunnel that was caused by the main control system failing. But the culprit didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened because... Uh... She kind of wakes up every day craving violence. In the form of small boy detective, pretty much, mother, I crave violence. It's basically what her whole, her whole being is. She just wakes up, just like you know, I'm gonna abuse somebody today. You know, you know, I want to see a couple deaths. I want to see blood. I want to see murder. And it's just like, why? <laughs> oh, uh, wasn't there some shaking right before the blackout too? After the whole train shook, the blackout... Ah, I don't get it. That's right! The train shook right before the blackout. We still don't know what caused that to happen. Whatever it was, it was strong enough to make the entire train shake. Why is this highlighted yellow? It caused the main control system to fail and resulted in a blackout. If it had something to do with moving a body, then what must have happened was... Ooh! Did I give you the assistance you needed? Close to solving the case now? Then it's time to combine our powers and solve this thing! Let's go, Master! Lay it all! Oh no, not this game again. Ugh, oh, I hate you. I hate you with all of my being. Nick was lost when the car was... Um, I need a hint here. Maybe something that shook the train. Um... You can do it, master! No. Something that shook the train. Um, I'm gonna start with T, maybe. You can do it. No. R. No. C. No. A. Um. H. I'm just pressing every button. D. Um. <laughs> you said your favorite D. <laughs> the D. <laughs> That's funny. So, maybe is the uh, maybe the world no, but there's a T in it, right? Maybe D. I'm gonna go with derailed. Maybe that's the word, but I don't think it is. Master, you may know the cause of the blackout. The fail, if so. So he must. You're gonna make me go through all of this again? Oh my god. I wrote that long before you would hit the D, but still funny when it happened like that. I was concentrating. You know how I feel about this game. About that mini game, at least. So this is the question we're facing right now. The main if that's if it's real. Hmm. Well, as the main. Oh yeah. There I know. Was a blackout right before. I know there's the a way tunnel. to fast forward. I just don't remember the. Was by the main control system. Um, it's not that. Feeling. It's not that. I'm just pressing buttons now. But the culprit didn't destroy it, so the blackout happened. Okay, that was just auto. Uh, no, that was just the auto. It wasn't like fast forwarding it. Um, there's gotta be. Uh, okay. Uh, it's a fast forward button. 
Oh, so it's R. Okay. There we go. Okay. Are you ready to play the Um Do we have an E by itself? Now that I understand how the game works there than the first time to say it, it seemed a lot more easier to me. Okay. But that first time around, I, I could not process it. And I still so don't understand the love beam ply. Could it be that the first car was separated from the train? Then that was a very quick separation because the car was still together. Huh? Separated? What? Seriously? Or unless, like... Well, we couldn't get into number five this whole time. No, but they said the door was broken. Well... Usually train there's a door and then there's another door, but it in this design it was like straight there So maybe that fifth car wasn't attached for like the longest time until like recently Just tell you so you go in the direction of it so you get it a huh? There's a skill that slows when opening up skills? What- wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm so lost. Yeah, the reason why the main control system failed was because... the first car was cut off from the rest of the train we were riding in. Let's keep going for now. Um, Master, I don't really get it. What do you mean the first car was cut off? The shaking happened just before the blackout, right? Huh? Did it just shake? Oh, I thought that other comment was for like way, way back. I didn't think you were still talking about the, um, the minigame. Okay. Apparently, I don't have that skill yet. What was that? The lights went out for a moment and came back on. At that time, the first car was disconnected from the rest of the Amaterasu Express. As a result, the main control system failed, and after a brief blackout, it switched to the backup. Oh, so it's like deep in there. Okay, I got it. But why cut off the first car? Why go through all that trouble? Of course, to move the body in the train car. To do that. Jeez. Watch out! <laughs> You're strangling him again. Ah! Poor Eva. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There it is again. It's bigger than ever. How much longer will this keep happening? I feel like I'm going to suffocate. Now is not the time to be suffocating! Well, stop choking me with the chain! Oh my god. Oh, now's not the time to be suffocating. Here, let me just slit your throat. The body was transported along we the entire- We need to resolve the mystery at hand. The body was transported along with the entire... car? 
given that the first car was cut off so that the body could be moved. Right, I think I see what happened. Seems like you got it. Let's do this. Play it all up, Master. You're really about to be play this game again. Oh my god. Please stop. It hurts my soul. Let's um, work together as a team. That's right. I pressed X. All right, there you go. Hide now. That's right. He transported the corpse using the entire first car. That's why the first car was disconnected. Transported the corpse with the entire car? Nice. What the world? Shut up! Jeez. The first car is at the front of the train. <laughs> I think it doesn't take much of a time to figure out this is gonna be a constant thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Aphex's corpse was in the fifth car, in the back. Even if you detach the front car, how do you move it all the way to the rear? Uh, um... <sighs> Master, don't be scared. Lots of villains transform after they've been cornered. C calm down. Stay calm. Think. Uh, how could you swap the position of the first and fifth cars? So... We have a charred plate. So, what if we just think? that the cars were switched because of the numbers. And really, the fifth was actually the first, and the, f the fifth was actually the first, and the first was actually the fifth. If I can answer that, I can solve this mystery once and for all. How did it happen? That reminds me. Master, earlier when you were talking about the shaking and mentioned the blackout? Blackout only happened once, but the shaking happened twice. Yeah, it definitely shook two separate times. Right before entering the tunnel, and right after leaving it. The first time was when the train car was disconnected. But what about the second? So it disconnected and then reattached. So that way no one would suspect anything. Something happened to the train then, too. The shaking at the end of the tunnel felt similar to when car one disconnected. There's no point thinking about it. You're stuck in this labyrinth for all eternity! Nah. Master, here it comes! You've got to solve the mystery and defeat him! Your deductions aren't worth a damn thing! Because they're all wrong from the very beginning! Three years later, my god! I think it's this. Twice near the tunnel. Right up it! You mean the train car was separated? Reconnected? Why would that even matter? 
Even if you manage to separate R1. Oh my god. <laughs> how could it be moved from the to rear? The train was always running on the same tracks. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. Ah, jeez. But then So it shook twice near the tunnel. What of it? You mean the train car was separated? Connected? Why would that even matter? Even if you managed to separate car one. How could it be moved to the rear? The train was always running on the same tracks. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. Hmm. That's true. Okay. For now. So it's it's not the plates. So it shook um. twice here. Near the tunnel. What of it? Oh, bad. You mean the train car was separated and reconnected? Why would that even matter? Even if you managed to separate car one, how could it be moved to the rear? The train was always running on the same tracks. There's no way to shuffle the train cars around. This is the truth. And I'm thinking too ahead. That's that's the problem here. No. At that time, not all the cars were moving on the same track. The track that the Amaterasu Express was on separated into double tracks right before entering the tunnel. So by taking advantage of the double tracks, it's possible to switch out the train cars. The train shook was before entering the tunnel, which was caused by car one separating. After that, the separated car one entered the other track, while the rest of the train proceeded on the main track. The two tracks rejoin after the tunnel. That's where car one connected to the end of the train. This is when the train shook for the second time. <laughs> Normally, it's impossible for a single train car to function on its own, but the Amaterasu Express is special. The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Ah. If each train car can operate autonomously, then car one can function on its own! Doesn't that solve everything? It's time you gave up! No! That's crazy! Huh? What? Using your method to rearrange the train cars would connect the first car to the end. Which would leave it behind the fifth car. In other words, it becomes the sixth car, but that doesn't exist. So, you're telling me you found Aphex's corpse in the non-existent sixth car? Oh, you're right. Do you get it? You're the one who's wrong. Everything you've deduced is wrong! No, I'm not wrong. The truth lies just ahead of us. I will prove it to you. Oh no, don't make me play this game. We're in the middle of a deathmatch. 
Don't do it! Uh, from the start, this is was a was a you can do it, master. five. I'm just gonna press buttons. Fourth. I, I can only guess. I don't understand the question. I don't know. I thought I was gonna ask, like, which car was which, but it was asking, like, for. You're gonna have to explain that one to me. Maybe the Yamaturasu Express doesn't have five cars. What if there were only four cars to begin with? If that's the case, then to me, car one could be made to look like car five. Huh? So there weren't five cars the whole time, but instead, four? That's why Melanie said the fifth car's door was broken while we were in transit. But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. So, it wasn't broken. The fourth car was actually the farthest one back from the get-go? Are you talking about, like, the animations or, like, their models or something like that? I'm sure the real fifth car was left behind at the station when we departed. Oh, the music! Oh my god. <laughs> Shows how much I know. So the train took off with only four cars. There was another car one at our destination. If it connected upon arrival, then the train would have five cars again. So the car one where ah. I was knocked out became the fifth car at the end of the line. And when I was questioned by the peacekeepers, the car one there was another car prepared at the station specifically for this plot. The real car one was waiting at the station's platform, and all the peacekeepers there would have noticed it. So they were all in on it. Or you can assume that the peacekeepers themselves were the ones who prepared the other car one. <laughs> There was another car one, and there will be something that sets it apart from the original car one. For example, the way the window glass was broken in the infirmary will be different from how I broke it. You mean when you use the fire extinguisher to smash the infirmary's window? So they knew you would do that? That's how they were able to imitate it in the new car one? Ah. Uh. I think I was set up to reach for that fire extinguisher. I mean, it was right the there. The fire extinguisher was left in a conspicuous spot in the hallway. They wanted me to use it to break the window. And that's how they pulled off swapping the first and fifth cars while in transit. It was all a trap to set me up as the culprit. Isn't that rough? Zilch! Dang. How could you, Zilch? <laughs> Alright! We're almost there! So let's catch this culprit! But why did he do it? I'm, I'm so curious of his motive on why he wanted to do this. That was a pretty solid deduction! Uh. <laughs> Very impressive! Oh, now I can save. Okay. Okay. So, how could you? How could you do this to me? Me, of all people. I thought we had something. 
Uh, I even put you as fourth in my suspect list. <laughs> I mean, this music. Okay, but we can save. Alright, cool. Alright, guys, I, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to just end it right here. <laughs> oh, that was a lot. But it is like the next day for me, at least. For me! I don't know about the rest of y'all. <laughs> but for me, it's the next day and. I'm gonna have to go to sleep. Um, dang, I wanted to see if I could like beat this before I ran out of time. Well, not, not beat the game, obviously. I mean like beat like this section, but that doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not gonna tell y'all the next time I, I'm, I go live. Like, it, yeah, that's just gonna. We we're not consistent here. <laughs> Consistency. We don't. I don't know what that is. No. Um. I'll definitely let you guys know. It, it will definitely be before the week is over. Before Saturday hits, there will be another stream. So that's. So just keep your eyes peeled. Uh, look out for any type of announcements from me that I will reappear to play this game again. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves, and, uh, thanks for, uh, hanging out with me. If it, I hope to see you next time, and everybody else as well, Gundam, Demon Lord. Um, but yeah. Bye. See you later.